Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rico Richardson and welcome to the biggest source of Dark Table Online. I hope you guys like my... <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the biggest source of Dark Table Online. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to transform a photo into a painting. Let's go. And here's the image that we're going to work with. And let me show you guys what we're going to turn it into by moving this slider to the right. There you go. Boom. This will be the end result. So here's the original. And then once more, here's the end result. And I'm going to show you guys how. And here's the image that we're going to work with. Let me show you guys the after. So you're looking at the before right now. I'm going to move this slider to the right because I've already taken a snapshot. And here it is, the end result. So one more time. Here's the original and then boom, look at that. Here's the final result. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make use of the color contrast module, the local contrast module, the contrast equalizer module and the denoise profile module. I've put them in my favorites. If you don't see them over here, please go to the group menus and then find them or find them using the search module bar or just go to more modules and then find them in the list down below. So let me close that one down. Let me deselect the snapshot and let me compress the history stack while standing on the orientation one. There you go. And now we're going to build this from scratch. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the contrast equalizer module. I'm going to open that one up and activate it. And you see six nodes and I'm going to pull that into the contrast T area. So all three of them. And then I'm going to pull this one downwards all the way. Same goes for this. And then I'm going to bring this one in just a little bit. And now we've already transformed the image. So that's a good starting point for what we're trying to achieve. And now I want to add some contrast using the local contrast module. So I'm going to activate that one and I'm going to bring in some detail. So this is far too much, but I'm going to put it on around 180%. And I'm going to keep everything else as is. And I'm going to drop the highlights. I'm going to pull the shadows all the way up to 200%. So it starts to look artificial and that's exactly what we want for this image. And then there's another thing I want to do. I want to turn it black and white. And for that, I'm going to use the color contrast module. I'm going to activate that one. And I'm just going to slide these to the left. And now you see that the image is nice black and white. And the final thing I want to do is I just want to activate the denoise profile one to make sure that we're getting rid of some noise. And here you have it. Now we've turned an image into a painting. Let me show you guys before and afters again. So I'm going to take the snapshot, make sure that I select it. I'm going to select the orientation one. There you go. And now I'm just going to move the slider. So here's the original, move it to the right. And now we've created an amazing painting. And that's it. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you would like to see more dark table videos, please check out this playlist over there or subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to make sure that you're the first to be notified. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button and until next time, doei!